In this video, we will be talking about binary fission, mitosis, and meiosis. Binary fission is the reproduction of a prokaryote by division of a cell into two comparable progeny cells. Binary fission begins with DNA replication at the origin of replication, or ORI, at the center of the cell. Next, the chromosomal DNA replicates as the cell grows, leading to the separation of daughter DNAs. This causes the cell to begin to divide as shown in step 3 listed here. In the final step, cytokinesis is complete as two new cells are formed. Binary fission and mitosis are similar in that cell division by either one produces two genetically identical cells. Mitosis is nuclear division in eukaryotes leading to the formation of two daughter nuclei, each with a chromosome complement identical to that of the original nucleus. Mitosis starts with a parent cell, which progresses through several stages and produces two daughter cells. The stages the cell goes through are IPMAT, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Interphase is the period between successive nuclear divisions in the cell cycle, during which the chromosomes are diffused and nuclear envelope is intact. Prophase is the first stage of nuclear division, during which chromosomes condense from diffuse, thread-like material to discrete, compact bodies. Metaphase is where the centromeres of the highly supercoiled chromosomes are all lying on the metaphase plane, or plate, perpendicular to a line connecting the division poles. Anaphase is where the first separation of sister chromatids occurs, creating daughter chromosomes. Telophase is where chromosomes become diffuse, nuclear envelopes reform, and nucleoli begin to reappear in the daughter nuclei. Meiosis is the division of a diploid nucleus to produce four haploid daughter cells. In meiosis, two sets of chromosomes are divided among four daughter cells, each of which has half as many chromosomes as the original cell. The four haploid cells are the result of two successive nuclear divisions. The micrographs show meiosis in the male reproductive organ of a lily. The diagrams show the corresponding phases in an animal cell. In prophase 1, the pairing of homologous chromosomes and crossing over occur. The alignment of homologous pairs of chromosomes at the equatorial plate occurs in metaphase 1. The centromeres do not separate in anaphase 1, as sister chromatids remain together. Homologs separate and DNA does not replicate before prophase 2. At the end of telophase 1, the two homologs are separated from one another. After telophase 1, the two daughter cells go through meiosis 2, which is much like mitosis, only without an intervening DNA replication. Meiosis 2 produces four haploid daughter cells that are genetically distinct. Meiosis is thus a mechanism for generating diversity. Binary fission is the reproduction of a prokaryote by division of a cell into two comparable progeny cells. Binary fission and mitosis are similar in that cell division by either one produces two genetically identical cells. Mitosis starts with a parent cell, which progresses through several stages and produces two daughter cells. The stages the cell goes through are IPMAT, interphase, prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Meiosis is the division of a diploid nucleus to produce four haploid daughter cells. In meiosis, two sets of chromosomes are divided among four daughter cells, each of which has half as many chromosomes as the original cell. The four haploid cells are the result of two successive nuclear divisions. Meiosis II produces four haploid daughter cells that are genetically distinct. Meiosis is thus a mechanism for generating diversity.